John, happy almost new millennium to you. We'll give a moment for our uh, group of experts to, uh, to situate themselves. Um, good evening. Uh, I'm P.J. Crowley, the Pentagon Deputy Spokesman, uh, and I think uh, we're all very gratified that throughout this day, for the most part, we've been able to see uh, a world focused on celebrations and not focused on crises. That certainly is good news. Um, in the fine tradition of, uh, of Nicholas Burns, the former State Department spokesman and as an avid Bostonian, I certainly want to express my hope that the curse of the Bambino is not Y2K compliant and that at midnight uh, the Yankees will have had their s century of, of uh, winning streaks and the Red Sox will emerge as a, once again, a baseball power in the <laughs> next century. <laughs> <laughs> and you got hey, one more year on this propaganda. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you wanted news. I'm I'm here to tell you that uh, the curse of the Bambino expires in two and a half hours. I think that's uh, dramatic news back in Boston. Fenway will always run back. Always will. Of course, 100 years from now, I will not be here to be proven wrong. And anyway, um, we have uh, Admiral Bob Willard uh, returning, uh, having gone through. Greenwich Mean Time, and that has a great implication for the military in terms of what we call Zulu time. But we thought we'd uh, we brief one more time tonight just to uh, to report to you once again that all of our systems are green. So we have Admiral Bob Willard here uh, and our group of experts. If there are any follow-up questions. Next we've got Absolutely. Pleasant to see the press in black tie. Uh, good evening. Uh, once again, we've been monitoring the, uh, the state of the world very closely, and particularly our systems as we rolled past Greenwich Mean Time at about uh, 1900 this evening, 7 p.m., and uh, I'm happy to report and continue to be encouraged to report that all the Department of Defense systems uh, remain in green status. Uh, we have uh, successfully rolled over long-haul communication systems uh, and our crypto systems all succeeded in, uh, uh, in rolling over correctly. So uh, once again, we remain uh, optimistic and very encouraged by what we've seen, and I know you've been hearing that uh, throughout the day. Uh, this is where we are right currently. Recall that uh, this chart is broken up by Unified Commander Area of Responsibility, Pacific Command, Central Command, European Command, Southern Command, and we have most recently rolled through the European Command and we are currently out in the middle of uh, the Atlantic Ocean and approaching the east coast of the United States in terms of uh, the century rollover. So we've had a couple of hours to assess the European Command systems and it's been an area of great interest to us not only because of the forces that we have there and the, the <coughs> systems that we have there but because of the large number of Department of Defense dependents and systems <coughs> that are also there. Uh, so we remain uh, in good shape, and I'd be pleased to answer any questions that you might have uh, this evening. Yes, sir. Have you had any glitches, not in your most critical systems, but in some of the subsystems as you have watched them roll? Uh, yes, but not Y2K related. Uh, in fact, uh, just recently was we were working a system uh, in the <coughs> Middle East uh, that experienced a communications glitch and uh, have resolved that it was not year 2000 uh, related and it's subsequently been corrected already. And again, I, I think you would find that were you to ask that pointed question around the world today that much like uh, we experience when we come to work, uh, the answer would be yes, of course, and we work our, you know, our, around our problems temporarily and then attempt to recover our systems. And if we successfully recover them and there's nothing attributable to year 2000, it won't make the report. So even in the, the minor systems that you've been able to look at uh, today, you have not seen Y2K glitches in any of them as you have worked That's your correct. way through. That's correct. We, our systems thus far are free of year 2000 glitch, anything that we can attribute to year 2000. What yes, ma'am. What about any host, uh, host nation type uh, problems that are impacting U.S. military installations overseas? Any power failures that are affecting the military, anything like that? Uh, none thus far that are affecting our military forces. Uh, we 
do not have knowledge of military forces and installations that have had to put continuity of operations plans into effect, there were some precautionary measures taken to make some of our installation commands more self-sufficient in anticipation of the rollover in their region and when the rollover successfully occurred and they could verify that the services could be provided, then they relaxed from that particular uh, posture. So, mm -hmm. so the answer is there have been adjustments made along the way, but the host nations are successfully working uh, any problems that they may have uh, in a manner that has uh, caused our major infrastructures to remain online. Sir. Could you explain crypto systems briefly in terms of the Karachi cab driver the Kansas City milkman can understand? Well, we have uh, crypto systems. Uh, cryptologic systems are systems that uh, uh, afford us the degree of security in our communication systems and other systems that we require. Uh, cryptological coding is on a matter of a timing and routine installed in our systems, changed out uh, periodically. Uh, and we undergo those period changes uh, more or less frequently depending on the type of system it is. And we do this in hundreds and I would argue thousands of mil variety of military systems. Um, they have to be able, those cryptologic systems have to be able to accept the date functions just like any other system does to ensure that the, uh, the necessary uh, encoding is affected. And we watched closely, particularly the Greenwich Mean Time rollover to ensure that our cryptologic systems would continue to function. Does that help? That's fine. Does that affect satellites? Does it then the communications? Uh, it doesn't affect the satellites, but it, it, the cryptologic coding is installed in our satellite related communication systems, yes. Navigations and health also? Uh, some. Have you had yes, any problems on any of the websites at all? Any computer hacking attempts been successful, anything like that? Uh, the uh, reports that we've received says, say, say no more than normal. Um, this particular weekend has been uh, arguably nominal in those areas. So we continue to be very vigilant in terms of uh, observing for uh, hacking and viruses and so forth. Uh, we've obviously taken the necessary precautions to be prepared for it, but the answer is, to date, uh, we've not seen more than the normal amount of hacking, to what's answer your question. Sir told me a hour ago, but what's your baseline? Uh, I, I don't know that I could characterize it, quantify it for you, other than to say there, there is one. I mean, there is a normal amount of activity uh, related to uh, hacker activity and virus activity that uh, is experienced <coughs> on the internet, I'm sure, and on our nets as well. And uh, that is what is monitored and, and what we are reporting against currently is anything that is in excess or excessive as it relates to that baseline. So again, I can't really quantify it for you, but we, we monitor, monitor against the, the frequency that we're accustomed to. Earlier Sir. today, uh, you said that in Russia you saw no power failures, you saw no anomalies um, that uh, in the earlier phase of the time zones passing across. Is that still the case? That's still the case. No power failures, no other large anomalies that are observable from... No large anomalies that are observable by our sources or re being reported by Russia. And how about China? And how about North Korea? Same questions from this afternoon. Uh, the same answer, uh, that the, in, the major infrastructures within those countries that are being reported against have not, to our knowledge, failed, nor are those countries reporting failure. Do you know of any countries that are reporting <coughs> um, large failures of systems? No. Uh, currently, the world uh, as we've seen in observing the, uh, the international briefings that have taken place, by and large is reporting itself uh, green currently. Uh, I, I, I would offer that there are a couple things that, could be that are attributable. Uh, one is that the second teams throughout the world are not on watch tonight for the most part. I think you would find that in major industry and throughout 
uh, the international community that the, the <coughs> folks that are uh, watching over our systems by and large are expert in those particular areas. So as in the United States, I'm sure the rest of the world has uh, the right people monitoring their systems. We also have no contract to establish that uh, if a system undergoes a failure, Y2K or not, and contingency plans are put in place, that they're necessarily reporting that as a degrade other than the infrastructure has remained intact and is we're working the problem and we remain green. And I think that's been the case today. So very encouraging from the standpoint that the remediation efforts have been successful to the extent that we know them throughout the world. We're very confident in our, we remain very confident in our systems. Uh, and the watch standards are affecting uh, those systems, uh, you know, we think correctly around the world as well. I mean, so are, are you saying, if I interpret you correctly, that there may be glitches, but um, because the first team is on, not only in our government and in the U.S. military, but in other governments that they may be doing fixes at the moment on the spot. I think I think you could assert that around the world that there are uh, industries and infrastructures that are uh, undergoing you know mitigation and contingency plan uh, workarounds to some extent, and yet we've seen no major failures, and that's the most encouraging part. Thank you. Thanks. Uh oh. <laughs> Just before you go, uh, I think, uh, you know, based on our, our, our current level of confidence, uh, this will be the last scheduled briefing of the night. Uh, and uh, we, we will, of course, be here all night uh, to answer your questions on any developments that might come up uh, if we do see impacts where, uh, uh, where our, our forces are affected through the night. But we will not uh, brief again tonight. Uh, we'll brief at noon tomorrow. Uh, with Dr. Hamry doing kind of an assessment at uh, more or less the, the, the first day of, of the new millennium. Very good. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.